Jethro Odin here, Jeep some twin uh, brother. Thank you, sissy. I call Thea sissy because she's like a sister to me. She's just my sister-in-law. But Thea, get a panoramic of what's going on here. Um, these trees have put their leaves back on. Like you don't see this in Florida. These trees just put their leaves back on and you lost the entire view. You can't see no view no more. See it? Used to be spectacular. So anyway, we got three quarters of the house down. Jeep's out there in Johnson City agitating some people for a week. He's just annoying the snot of them. His motto is slow or no go. But when people tell him to speed up, he just goes slower. He ain't right. But anyway, he asked me, he asked me to continue the Appalachian Engineered Appalachian Impaired. He's a moron. I don't think it's funny. He thinks it's funny. So anyway. <laughs> Two outlets fed with phone wire. I don't think he ever saw this, but it's C wire. It's called phone wire. Two outlets were fed with that. I don't even think he knows that, but come on over here. This one cracks me up the most. Now, you know you're Appalachian impaired if you're gonna Appalachian engineer a fireproof way. In the walls, you got your Fresh Express coleslaw bag full of What's that stuff called there? Um, insulation, but it's ground up newspapers. There's a name for it, escapes me. Bread bag, Bond IPAC, two zip lockers. So that's gonna prevent a fire here. It's gonna prevent a fire. I don't think so. Come on, sissy. Come on, sissy. What's really cool is when you take a house down like this, this Three quarters of the way done. We've only hauled one load out of here. Jeep and I hauled one load out of here. There's all the trusses. He had me stack all those trusses, but the funny thing about it that he don't even know, the ones I didn't stack are over the cliff in the back, and he's going to have to drag them out himself. He's, he says he has the strength of 10 men, so let's see it when he drags all them trusses off of the cliff. Come on. So, sissy, sissy, this is the chair right here that he was using, but uh, owners of the property saw him snoozing in too much, so they pulled they pulled the um, pillow cushion so he couldn't sit on it anymore. They caught him sleeping so many times. But anyway, um, this is going to be editorial on people not knowing what stuff. Everybody knows what's inside Stretch Armstrong. Who knows what's in a turlet seat? Look at this right here. A turlet seat is made of particle board. Now, anybody that don't know what particle board is, particle board is the stuff that's left on the bottom of the sawmill floor. So it gets all glued together. They make masonite. They make particle board. Um, they make um, pegboard for people's woodworking shops. But anyway, the coolest thing I found, I did find out today, though. Jeep's been asking me, asking me, asking me, where's that safe? The safe was already hauled out of here and taken to the scrap metal yard for the weight, but I did find something precious inside the walls. You're not even going to believe what I found. Oh, not a Proctor Silex. I found that, too. A bottle of Prale. Prale. This is like an original bottle of Prale hair shampoo or hair gel. It's, oh my God. this is like from 57 years ago. So Jeep's going to be happy because this is probably worth some money if we don't open it up. Okay, so I'm going to show you one more chair. This is the editorial on chairs. He likes his Appalachian engineered, Appalachian impaired. I'm doing an editorial on chairs. So let's move on to the third chair, sissy. Well, so I found this one. Now Jeep's too lazy to have a regular canoe. He's got what's called a ginu. If you don't know what a ginu is, that's G-H-E-E-E-N-O-O-O-O, ginu. So he likes in my Pequod, I got a fighting chair. I got a fighting chair in my 34-foot Pequod, found him a Pequod down in Marathon, Florida, hoping to buy it, he says. But right now he fishes off his ginu with a outboard motor on the back. So anyway, he likes my fighting chair in my Pequod, so I'm going to pull the wheels off of this for his birthday. Both of our birthdays is in June 16th, so both our birthdays, I'm pulling these wheels off. I'm going to mount this to the floor of his Ginu, so when he goes fishing in Tennessee and on, uh, what's that lake there in Marion? James. James. 
But the good thing about this, once I put it in there, it's got a foot holder for fighting fish. I'm going to put a gimbal here for his rod. And on the back here, it's got a handle for, for um, Beth when she can hold him when he's fighting that fish. And then you could put a rocket launcher on here and some more rods. So anyway, I'm going to put this in Jeep's Ginu. Don't tell him, sissy. Do not tell him, sissy. It's going in the Ginu for his birthday, June 16th, both our birthdays. We're coming to you, coming to you from the Pisgah National Forest. Just remember, if it ain't Guy Harvey or Columbia or Southern Fishing, it ain't cool. See you.